All right, what's going on, y'all? So today, we're going to be going over which player you should pick from the fourth inning program and the fastest way to do so. So let's get right into it. I'm going to try to make this as fast as I possibly can. Let's go look at the bosses really quickly. So fuck Matthewson off the bat. Look at his pitch mix. I'm not really a big fan. He has a sinker. He has a fastball, but it's not really the fastest. So hold the six curve doesn't really work like on anyone. The changeup might be useful. He's going to get hit around on, on higher ranks. Don't get this card, okay? Please. But he has great stats, though. He has great stats. So if you, I mean, if you are really good at throwing these pitches, go ahead, get them. I'm just saying, for most people, this guy's ass. All right? Come over here. Juan DeFranco. Both Juan DeFranco and Eddie Murray are the top cards in their positions at the moment. So it's like, all right, which one do I pick? Wander, only pick if you have Big Poppy. Uh, that's really the base of it, I think. Most people have pretty good shortstops. If you don't have Groshans, um, I could make a video on how to do Team Affinity. It's a little dated, but if a lot of people don't have Groshans and you're wondering, wait, I don't have him. Um, if you don't have Groshans or Story, then then um, you're going to want to pick up a Wander. But if you do have Groshans and you do have Story, you probably don't need this Wander. You probably do not need him. So Eddie Murray, if you have Tomei or anyone else that isn't Big Poppy, you need Eddie Murray. Because the first baseman spot is dry as fuck. Whereas a shortstop spot, really, it's kind of dry, but there's like a top three or top two shortstops that you can use. So upgrading to Wander wouldn't really be that big of a change. Whereas with Eddie Murray, from Tomei to Eddie Murray, it's literally crazy, the, the difference, right? So in my opinion, you want to go with Eddie Murray if you have Tomei or anyone else that isn't Big Poppy. okay? So really, it comes down to Big Poppy. It really does come down to him. Eddie Murray's better. He's a switch hitter. He's a better defender. But then again, I'm just going to summarize it for you one more time. Get Wander if you're lacking in the shortstop position. Um, if you don't have Groshans or Story, get Wander. I, I might be missing out on another shortstop. Maybe Ernie. If you have Ernie Banks at shortstop, then you need to get Wander. Okay? And then, uh, only get Eddie Murray if you have Tomei or anyone else that is a Big Poppy. So that's it. That's really the best way to summarize it. Both cards are insane. Christy Matthewson's ass. So how to do it the fastest. So you have daily missions. Don't go for these. I, I would recommend going for these. Obviously, come here and look. You can usually reshuffle this mission right here. So right now, I mean, I can't do it because I already tried to reshuffle, but bronze outfielders, two RBIs. I'm not doing that shit. So what I would do is reshuffle, um, although I can't because I already did it, right? But I, I would not recommend going for these. If you want to do the fastest, even if you want to get the fastest, you're probably better off ignoring these, okay? But obviously, this one's complete. You can complete this one. Um, and if you don't like this, you can get a new mission. As you can see, you can press square, get a new mission. So, you know, definitely look at these, but don't get bummed out when you can't do one of these daily missions, right? Then the exchanges, I'd say they're worth it. Um, I personally not doing them because I still need to get chipper. Um, this guy looks like Rudy Gobert. Now let's take a look at the missions. Um, you can do these just through playing. I'm sure most of you have diamond pitchers. If you don't, it's okay. You're going to get them eventually. If you're new, it's fine. You're going to get them a diamond pitcher. Even if it's an ass one of the tops now, you're going to strike people out in battle royale. You're going to strike people out. You know, you're going to, you're going to get your saves. You're going to get your dubs, right? So don't worry about the missions. You'll get those conquests. This is probably the most important one to get you jump started. Uh, I hate conquest. I will never do it. But again, if you want to do it the fastest, this is how you would do it. Basically attack the strongholds. Make sure you have enough fans when you're doing so, because sometimes the difficulty will be too high. The collections, um, this, so this one right here is for if you're filthy rich, uh, if you feel like, Hey, I have a ton of money. I have all I need. Let me just basically buy into these fourth inning bosses. You're going to be spending, um, say 70 K on size more. 60k in Glouse if you don't have um, Eckersley. Seven, like you're gonna be spending a ton of money on these cards in order to get 50k XP. So only if you have a ton of money, I would recommend doing this. If not, just ignore this shit. Ignore this shit. Nelson Cruz, Whitey Ford. I would recommend doing this again if you're trying to get the fastest. Me personally, I'm not fucking doing this shit. I'm not putting myself through this. Yes, I will get Frank Franco. I will get Murray like 10 times faster. I'm not fucking do. I'm not putting myself through this. Nelson Cruz actually turns out to be a pretty good card as well. If he's off your bench, if you put him in the outfield, there's, there's basically an open gap at right field. That's the same. It'd be the same thing. We got Whitey Ford. Um, he's a very bad card. Uh, well, not very bad. You know, he's got a sinker. He's got a change up. He's got a slider, but his fastball is super slow. So he's not a very bad card, but um, it's really just for the XP guys. You're going to get 40 K XP 
from banging all these moments out and shit. Say you hate doing this shit, but the shit I just told you, you hate Conquest, all this shit. Um, there is a glitch going around. And the reason why, I'll tell you, is because people are already selling him. People are already selling Wander Franco. At this point in time, I'm pretty sure it's impossible to get Wander Franco legitimately unless you are sitting here, sitting here just spamming the game, okay? So there is a glitch going around, and I'm, I think I have a theory on what it is. People are going into exhibition mode or some shit like that and walking players for hours. I think I saw it in like a Twitch chat. Some guy said, yeah, people are going to exhibition, walking players to get XP on for hours on end. Uh, I don't know how that works exactly, but there is a glitch going around. If you want to look into that, look into that. Personally, that's not my style. I like to do things legit. That's kind of what makes the game fun, in my opinion. But And I think it's going to end it. If y'all enjoyed, leave a like, sub the channel, and uh, peace.